Deep in the sea off the coast of Florida, new life takes shape. These are artificial reefs, cement outcroppings that over time encourage marine growth. Don Brawley markets artificial reefs to cities along the U.S. Atlantic and Gulf of Mexico coastline, cities desperately trying to improve their shorelines. We place a lot of reefs anywhere from, you know, a mile or so offshore to uh, 10 miles offshore. Coral reefs are one of the most diverse ecosystems on the planet. But people are damaging the reefs by development and pollution. Studies show that up to 70% of the world's coral reefs may be destroyed by 2050. An unusual request by his father-in-law, who was dying of cancer, sparked an idea of how Don could do more to protect the environment. And Carlton came over for dinner one night and he said, you know, Don, Jane, I got a favor to ask you. When I pass away, I'm gonna be cremated. And I'd like you to put my remains in those artificial reefs you built. I'd rather spend eternity down there with all that life and excitement going on than in the field with a bunch of old dead people. And we kind of chuckled and said, okay, we can do that. And so they did. And now the artificial reefs are the burial grounds for over 600 others. The deceased's cremated remains are mixed in with cement and poured into a mold. Now Don runs a new company, Eternal Reefs, that creates memorial reef balls in small, medium, and large. Working with families and governmental agencies, Eternal Reefs determines where best to deploy each memorial. They're loaded onto a barge, where family and friends often draw their own postscript to a loved one's life. With the fish and then the eye above it, it sort of kind of reminds me of like grandpa seeing everything going on around it. Cortez Bridge, Cortez Bridge, fly fish too. And then it's out to sea. So I believe that we are deploying uh, Everett Dale Schroenberg. Larry Herman believes this is a fitting farewell to his wife of 20 years. I'm feeling elated. Uh, Karen was a swimmer and a snorkeler, and she'll be swimming and snorkeling for the rest of eternity. This is really the first time I've been able to say goodbye to her. With each new memorial reef, a community under the sea grows stronger.